I'll never leave you again. Never, ever. Oh, cat. Oh, I missed you. We're waiting. Oh, now that I have my favorite hat back, I'll reveal its surprise. A nighttime snack. Ta-da! Hooray! What's all this noise I hear? A midnight feast. Do you want to join in? No, thanks. I already had dinner. That's what I heard. My dinner. It's why I had to rush off. Oh! I get it. You stay up at night to eat. <laughs> Owl, have some food. Oh, no, thank you. I'm full up. Nighttime is when I catch all my meals. Mm -mm -mm. And that's why you have such good eyes. So you can find your food. <gasps> hey, that's the stinky hat I smelt. <laughs> Not my kind of food. Sorry. <laughs> Thanks for showing me how much fun it is to stay up all night, Nick. Nick? It's Stella oh. and Sally. <laughs> it's Stella. Ah. Ah. Oh. 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 Hi, Stella. I got your invitation. We're here for the party. Hi, Felix. Hi, Ivy. I haven't met Wally. Is he coming soon? Is this a surprise party? Should we hide behind this big tree before he comes? <laughs> this tree is Wally. Wally the walnut tree. It's a tree party? Uh-huh. He's a hundred years old and he's never had a birthday party. Can you believe it? Wow. A hundred years old. Let me shake your hand. Happy birthday, Wally. Come here, Strap. Whoa. Hi, Felix. Hi, Ivy. Hi, guys. Looks like you guys are having fun. We're playing tag with a chipmunk. But it's too fat for us. Are you sure they'll want me? After everything I did? That was Sharifa who did all that. You're someone else now. Someone who's learned a few things. You're Mujiba the Responder. Welcome to the 99. And where were you two when all this was going on? We got here as fast as we could. What about them? Are they going to be all right? With time, I suppose. And if not, I can always make more. But there's no substitute for experience, is there? Assuming you learn from your mistakes. Oh, we have. Believe me. You can count on us, Rugal. Okay, so we're back in. But what good will it do us? As long as he's got a molecular disruptor that can turn you into soup. That won't be a problem forever. Black Wolf? Not even for very long. It's Christmas time! <laughs> Soon I'll be the one that kids write letters to, that people write songs and poems about. All I need is Santa out of the way, and Christmas will be mine! Get going! And remember, make it look like an accident. <laughs> How do you like my new addition? <laughs> addition? You're blocking my view of the sun. Two can play at this game. Hey, hey! That totally blocks my cool mountain breeze, man! Absolutely not, Carl. But I'm not allowed back until I pay for the comic I ruined. I just need a little advance on my allowance for the next 20 or 30 years. Mm -hmm. Sorry, buddy. You'll just have to find some other way to pay off your debt. You mean like investing in lottery tickets? That could work, right? I was thinking more along the lines of a uh, part-time job. 
Uh, yeah. I'm leaning more towards the lottery tickets thingy. Huh. Give it up, brother figure. I just tried to hit him up for money, too, and I got the same speech. Trust me, Chloe, there is nothing more satisfying than buying your first car with money that you've earned yourself. Somehow I doubt that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Chloe? A job? <laughs> yeah, like that'll ever happen. Mm. Laugh it up, worm. Bet I could find a job faster than you ever could. As if. So if. Oh, let's make this interesting. First one of you to bring home a paycheck. I'll match it! Oh, yeah. What's up, <coughs> bro? <laughs> Cha-ching! Do you realize if C2 works every weekend for the next 10 years, I'll be making <gasps> some serious mad bank? Ain't you getting a little ahead of yourself there, homie? Huh, are you kidding? This is Clone Boy we're talking about. Once he sets his mind on something, he never gives up. That's it. I give up. I quit. Nice timing. I'm never going back to work. Ever. <laughs> Maybe even longer. What are you talking about, C2? I thought you loved working side by side with Lorna. I did. That's the problem. <sighs> I hate theme songs. I'm your biggest fan! Can I have some of your hair? Go away. <gasps> he spoke to me! And I'm Prince Nestor, heir to the throne of Odysseus. It's kind of a big deal. Yeah, yeah, whatever. But he's... 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 Quest! Did anyone ever tell you how I was with Quest in all those battles? Yeah, many see me as the true hero. Strong and silent. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Being on a quest with the legendary quest would be the highlight of my life! Boring life. I order you to bite each other in punishment. Uh, can't we floss the grouse teeth instead? Or, or maybe do their nails like usual? Yes, when you're done biting now, go on! Ow! 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 Mm, tastes like chicken. We're gonna solve a busy town mystery! I don't think anyone could get in this way. Unless they had superpowers, of course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Like being able to fly like Superman! <laughs> or crawl straight up walls! <laughs> then whoever took the muffins must have come in through the door. But we don't know that for sure. Sally's right. The muffin snatcher hasn't even left any footprints. That's because Hilda's floor isn't dusty. What if the floor was dusty? Then they would leave footprints. Communication, miscommunication. We're in our own little place in your heart. Ah! Ooh! Err! Ah! Ooh! Err! <sighs> Get back to work, slackers! Nothing for you lazy layabouts but coal! Coal! Myron, all I care about is beating Stinky. I am outraged. Did you know that an astounding 47% of students don't even know what mung beans are? <gasps> Please don't tell me you polled the students over mung beans. Of course not. I also asked them about tofu. Ah, <sighs> Rainbow, we're not running a mung bean awareness campaign here. We're not? Oh, well, I also asked them about their opinion on other aspects of school life, including... Hey, hey, isn't that your little helper over there? Speech? That's what an election's all about, dude. Uh, yeah, no worries. I've got it all covered. You do? Totally. In fact, I'm so confident, I'm not even gonna bother with this speech stuff now. Instead, we shall play ping pong. All hail, hail President, President Stinky! Stinky. Farted? Man, that is a stinky one! Who 
cut it anyway. Who else? Bozo here. Why, I oughta. Hey, man, let Craig take care of him. He should be back any minute now. It's a good thing I was here, or Quebec would have separated from Canada. Yay, Craig, my God! Well, that takes care of that. Ugh, patching up the world is hard work. Sure will be good to get back to Ripcott to breathe some fresh oxygen again. We're being attacked! Hey, it's Citraset! And he's wearing some fancy new outfit. Correction, raping brothers. No longer am I merely Citraset. From now on, you shall address me by my proper name. Stinky Butt the Foul. Let's rip! Rats of the Lost Nebula. I'm Tuna. I'm Petey. Oh, hi. You guys just check in? Yeah, yeah, we're new here. Mm -hmm. Wow. Welcome. Uh, uh, wow. Thank you. There's not a lot to do here. We found that the way to really enjoy hanging in chains is to try and find satisfaction in the little things. Yeah. Is she tripping? No! Losians are capable of infiltrating other thoughts. It's called touching souls. So touch Hexta Vigas soul and tell us if he's got Duncan and a messed up brother. I can't touch souls with Hexta Vigar. Touching souls isn't like reading someone's diary. Vigar's soul is poison. It would kill me. Uh, ow, ow. Oh. Blight, what were you thinking about just before I flicked your head? Hmm. Funny you should ask, Eminence. I found myself wanting to tell someone about the capturing of the brats. Well, why was I thinking about that, Your Eminence? Because the Lozian brat was using magic on your useless brain! <laughs> Welcome to Turtle Island! Here comes a boot! Here comes a boot! I can see a boot! I swear! How do I look? You know, Tiki, you really are the most regal turtle in the whole world! hi oh. Welcome, noble stranger! To what do we owe the honor of your visit? I am the humble Karatiko, ambassador from the land of the Rising Heart. And I am Wormy, the, uh, the, uh, the worm! We can't stay out here. Head to the police station. It'll be a lot safer. There! Buckle up. Okay. What's going on? I arrived in town, and the whole place went Great. insane. The radio's out. You're a cop, right? Yeah. First day on the job. Great, huh? Name's Leon Kennedy. Nice to meet you. Mine's Claire. Claire Redfield. I came to find my brother, Chris. That is impressive.